of England and its mandates. Now, I know that the Bank of England does not feature within this bill in respect of its remit or its mandate directly, but there has been much said about the Bank of England and the importance of the independence of the Bank of England, and I want to underscore uh, that importance in this debate today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a period going back some weeks and months where, perhaps because understandably many members and those who are now in government may have looked at the Bank of England and said because inflation is so far adrift from its target of 2 per cent that therefore it is entirely unfit for purpose. I don't actually subscribe to that view. I don't believe that the bank has been perfect, but I think that it has faced extraordinary uh, situations which has made uh, its ability to keep inflation down to around 2 per cent really a, you know, a, a task that, n that no central banker uh, could have uh, achieved um, if it were not, uh, if not to be the, uh, the Bank of England. It is vital that the Bank of England maintains its independence, that politicians are kept out of monetary <laughs> policy, that politicians, chancellors do not determine interest rates if we are going to have a credible approach to monetary policy going forward and all the benefits that that brings. And as I know my right honourable friend, the former Chancellor, has said at that dispatch box on occasion in the past, of course, if you take a 20-year view uh, of the Bank of England and its performance, it has actually been about spot on yeah. at around 2%. So perhaps I can leave this debate with that thought, yeah, that we well must said. guard uh, the independence yeah, yeah. of yeah, the yeah, Bank yeah. of England. Thank well you. Well it will be obvious to everyone in the chamber